I want you to think about something right now that you could talk about for at least 10 minutes nonstop. A vacation you've been on, a vacation you're planning. Just I'm going to give you like 15 seconds. Think of something that you could talk about because it excites you and you could talk about it for a while. Turn to your neighbor now and engage in that conversation. Talk about that which interests you. Right now. Okay, time's up. Now, if you're relatively normal, you're not done. <laughs> you got more you want to say. All right? this, is, this is like, this is our normal world. You have more you want to say. Okay? And so as we look at this slide right here, um, did anybody in your pair talk more than the other person? Yes. How were those rules established? Because she just kept asking questions. <laughs> all right. All right. Did anybody get, not get much time at all to talk? I told her we finished the conversation. I, I don't think I saw you talk at all, sir. No, I didn't. I didn't see you talk at all. <laughs> Somebody has to listen. Somebody has to listen. Yeah, we need two people here. Well, the truth is that we really don't need two people because a lot of times people are talking, you can walk away and you keep right on going. <laughs> and when, when you were listening, were you trying to like wait for an opportunity to get your talking in? Because you were excited you want to talk about something. Yeah, you wanted to take your turn talking too. Hey, that's good. Okay. So with that one minute conversation, was anything accomplished? What was accomplished? Please. Yes. <laughs> you want to finish the conversation. All right. Okay. Good. Now, let me contrast that, contrast that with this notion of purpose. Let's say, for example, this is a little exam. And I'm going to start with one that we've already practiced. I want to give you a compliment because I like what you did yesterday. Okay. That's expressive. What becomes the outcome or the objective? for that expression. What do I actually want to accomplish in the other person? I want them to feel good. I want them to feel recognized by what they did. I want them to feel proud of what they did. Uh, I want them to continue what they're doing. There is an outcome. Mm -hmm. We don't think about it. We think, what do I want to say? And then we, we sort of start throwing it that way and then we walk away. What now, this is the hard part. I want to give you some feedback Obviously, it wasn't a good thing to do yesterday. I wanted to give you some feedback. That's what we want to do. What's the outcome? What are some possible outcomes of that? Person gets angry. I'm, I asked the wrong question. I'm sorry. The objective is not, I want to give you some feedback. That's the normal way of thinking. I'm trying to have you look at this differently now. What would be a purpose that would result in an what outcome do I want to achieve? If my outcome is I want to give you feedback, once I give you the feedback, I walk away without knowing or caring what, what the puddle on the floor is or how proud you are. What, what is an outcome I might want to achieve by giving somebody feedback? Change. Change. A change in behavior. I'm not going to get a change in behavior while I'm talking to them. I might be able to get a commitment to change behavior while I'm talking to them. So, is that this? so my, my, my challenge is, in the very moment of the conversation, what is my purpose? Now, one of the oldest, you know, quote, supervisor training programs in the world is employee comes in late for work, supervisor says, you got to counsel the person. So I says, you know, you were late for work. Well, you know, the alarm clock, it's just, I just, I can't get a good one. Any idea where I can buy one? Oh, yeah, uh, Kmart's having a good sale this week. Oh, really? How much are they? Well, let me look it up for you. There you go. Oh, great. Everybody's happy now. Well, what was the purpose of that conversation? Well, to talk to him about his attendance problem. Well, we did that, but we didn't accomplish anything. The more clear we are about what we want to accomplish, I want to explain our policy on attendance. Okay, so we got this in the first defense and second defense, progressive discipline. Wake up! And this, this, this. What do I want to accomplish? I want to accomplish getting that person to be able to summarize the consequences of their actions on the rest of the team. And I want to hear that person commit to doing whatever it takes to be on time because they're proud of working here, they want to do a good job, and they know it's important. And until I hear them say that, I'm just talking in the wind. Again, I want you trying to think about outcomes we want to achieve in the conversation, not what we want to say or express or get off our chest. We can achieve the outcomes. All right. So you actually work for them to work it out themselves? Yes. Yes. So what then, good, I'm glad you said it. So to the question, where can I get a good alarm clock, the best answer is? 
I'm not even talking about alarm clock. Yeah, you're right there. What do you think? No, it's going to be, I'm here to talk about your attendance. <laughs> I want to stay focused because my objective is to talk about your attendance because I need to hear from you that you understand the expectations. Right. I do. Like what? To like our seven or eight year olds, like some acknowledgement that you yes. understood what you're talking about. Evidence of cognitive activity. Something connected. Yes, perfect.